Lucky's Wills and Dills. Yeah, today we at the auction. We about to get it in, man. I'm excited. I want to see what I'm going to get. I really like to see what prices go for. Like, man, because sometimes it's good deals, sometimes it's not good deals. I'm just like y'all, man. I'd be curious what the car's going to go for. You know what I mean? So I'm going to keep coming with this good content for y'all. And uh, with these auction videos, seem like y'all really like them. Oklahoma Auto Exchange. Lucky's Wheels and Deals. See what kind of deals we can find, man. I've been waiting for some deals to go through. Some cool cars, but it's like a lot of cars that have been going through that I'm not interested in. Uh, and we're gonna, I'm just going to walk the yard. Oh, I see something that caught my damn eye. Look at this. I got to get this. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this car. Some people love them. Some people don't like them. But these motherfuckers is expensive. And for an older car. I think this is a 2003. I think they was ahead of their time when they made this. I like this car. I like these kind of cars, man. They different. You know I gotta drop the top on them. Hard top, drop top. Uh, I know you got that V8. Let's see what motor it is in there. I don't know, man. I think I should get something like this. It's different. It's like a truck, but not a truck. It's like a. Uh, it's almost like an El Camino, new version. Uh, SSR. So we got the 5.3. Yep, we got the 5.3. 2003 with 130,000 miles. At least they were driving it. Some of these be having like 80,000. Can't stand when motherfuckers be not driving their damn cars. You gonna keep the miles down for the next person. It's funny, man. You gonna keep the miles down for the next person to enjoy the car. You've been saving the miles and not enjoying your car. You paid all that money and did not enjoy your car. And someone else gets it after you and just have all the fun they want. I don't get it. That's just like, man, you be like, I'm not, I'm not gonna have sex with my wife. Or I'm not gonna have sex with my girlfriend or whatever to keep the pussy tight <laughs> and, and give it off to the next person to have some tight pussy. That, that, that don't make sense to me at all. I mean, it's for real, man. Y'all don't drive these damn cars. But anyways, let's see, we're gonna drop the top on the ass. Uh oh, look at him, look at him. Transformers. If this car was a Transformer, I wonder would it be a Decepticon or Autobot? <laughs> Y'all comment below. <laughs> yeah, hey, now this car gives the car a whole nother look. Boss. It makes it look boss. It makes it look false, false. I need this. I wonder how much this car is gonna go for. With the top off, it gives it a whole nother look. Transformer shit again. Uh oh. I'll just be at the auction having fun, man. Buy cars, drive cars, sell cars, make money, doing videos. This shit is kind of fun though. Jumping in and out of different cars. And nobody can't tell me shit. 
But yeah, let's see what else we can find out here in this yard, man. I most definitely want to see what this goes for. Oh, we got a Camaro, man. I know. I'm not sure. That one looked like one from another video that we did. Let's see what we can find. Can you say Mercedes? And what's all the hype about these Mercedes, man? Yeah, I need to get back inside and see uh, what these cars are going for for you guys. We got a Nissan Z. 350Z. Yeah, boy. Man. Let's see what else is over here. I like to try to find those exclusive cars for y'all, man. That I'm an exclusive type of guy. I like to find like, you know, cars that like, damn, I ain't seen this at the auction, but a lot of this shit, like, like you find trucks dime a dozen. You find trucks dime a dozen all day. I want to look for something a little more special, but you can make money on a lot of these cars that's not special, but I'll be, I'll be really curious. I'll be like watching myself, like I told y'all before. I like to watch my own videos. I like to see what cars go for when I remember. I like to, you know, all that shit. Hey, I got a question for y'all. What y'all think about me getting a Malibu like this? I kind of like, I don't know. I kind of like these Malibus more than the Impala. Because they're not as big. They seem more slicker, not as bulky. I don't know. Y'all let me know. Right, start that up. See what that screen look like. Got the AC here. Smell good up in here. I don't know. I got a feeling like these little Malibus. A little gas saver, man. Ain't nothing wrong with a little four door gas saver. Cause I know I'm really a two door guy. But they didn't damage this up. It's all on spares. I think it's on spares all the way around. Look like a red line edition. I think it is. Or someone someone must have jacked the, the red line rims. <laughs> I just thought about that. Someone must have jacked the red line rims, man. I want to know how much this go for, but the miles are low and it's still a new car. It's a 2018 for 6,000 miles. No, there's not a, re a specific reason why this car is at the auction. Shit, motherfuckers ain't making damn payments. That's what happened. That's why the damn new cars be at the auction. Oh yeah, they got this one. I like the other one better. This one got 2017 with 56,000 miles on it. Let's look at the inside of it. What the hell? They're eating up here. Someone's taking a lunch break up in here. These lazy motherfucking workers up here. But hey, man, y'all comment below. Let me know what other type of cars y'all like, man. Because y'all know me. I'm a Chevy guy. I'm always going to go lean towards the Chevys. But if y'all like different type of cars, let me know what type of cars you guys like. And what y'all want to see. What go for. What price they go for. And, and uh, you know, what they go for. What y'all want to see at the auction. What type of cars y'all like to sell or flip or whatever y'all want to call it which is the same dot damn thing they just try to make it seem make you seem less than oh you curve hustling you're uh you're flipping cars motherfucker i'm selling cars just like you the same fucking thing they just trying to downplay your hustle don't let them do it don't let them knock your hustle I like this color. This color is kind of clean. I like that color. I remember I painted a, one of my older videos that had like a 97 Camaro. 
I painted that same color. Yeah, I painted it, uh, that Camaro the same color, so. And they be having some raggedy ass cars up here. You gotta be very careful. Here you go, uh, Jaguar. Pluto. XK series. I don't know shit about these cars. There's a uh, GMC on the other side of that Wouldn't know how to start this motherfucker. Let me see. What the hell? Oh. <laughs> start right there. Oh, these motors don't sound that good to me. Of course, they look all luxury, but I don't think they know how to make motors. They sound like shit to me. No room in the back. Oh, I like this. Got that suede. That's boss. Wait, this motherfucker is, is boss. This car is boss looking. I don't know how much these go for, but it is boss looking. But I don't like how that motor sound. It don't sound good. Unless y'all, if y'all know anything about this car, you see they supposed to sound like that. No, it just sound like it got like a tick to it or whatever. Motherfucker, it's boss looking though. It's nice. It's nice, but you know, I need something with a bow tie on it. You can go ahead and ride in that foreign. You're gonna be dealing with foreign problems. If y'all get that. I don't need no foreign problems. I deal with the Chevys because I I got uh, domestic problems. I'm dealing with uh, cobalt. I might have to get this thing. I think this one went through last week, I think. I forgot what's wrong with it. I think it's riding rough. Oh yeah, goddamn exhaust. be fixed and i think the ac don't work and it's fucking hot as fuck outside but yeah we about to go back up in there and see what kind of deals we can get and see what kind of deals that y'all will be getting if y'all decide to become dealers or whatever or y'all want to just know and you kind of can calculate how much you could have sold it for how much you could have bought it for and calculate how much you could have made you know that's the type of shit i'll be doing if I, if I was you guys i still do shit like that but damn i could have made this much money on that oh i don't i can't see me making no money on it i probably would have broke even or some shit but uh yeah well, we're gonna get up in here and see what we can find kind of clean man look at the wheels i, I can see you driving this man this looks like you man this ain't me this ain't you ain't your style what you like, Cadillacs? No, 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 I want Porsche. You like, you like what? I want Porsche. Man. Porsche? That's my dream car. Oh, okay. Lamborghini. Oh, okay. Like oh, you like, oh, you want two-door, you're a two-door guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah.
man oh man oh man dang i can't believe i missed the damn car i missed the ssr i missed the ssr i was gonna try to call it hhr but i missed that ssr man but i do know what it went for it went for eleven thousand eight hundred so eleven eight eleven thousand eight hundred dollars man but um yeah it's already sold so man y'all let me know was that a good deal i think that's kind of high for old three with 130,000 miles with these cars are rare so people that really like these cars i don't think that's i don't know i don't really think that's a good deal because i've seen a few of them i looked online i've seen a few of them going for like the same price so i could yeah i don't think it's worth it man i was thinking more like eight thousand maybe nine thousand probably just because they're selling for fifteen thousand but I, I don't think i think that's too much for this old car it's clean and all but my opinion y'all let me know y'all comment below tell me if that's worth it eleven eight that's almost twelve thousand then you gotta factor in the fees man they probably when they're done with this car they probably have like somewhere like twelve twelve 12,000 miles, I mean $12,000 or more in this car after the fees, so y'all yeah, just let me know, but yeah, man, that shit ruined it, the whole thing for me, man, I didn't miss it I was trying to buy some cars, I ended up leaving with nothing uh, people were calling me uh, I gotta be two different places at one damn time and it's kinda all right, I don't really see nothing here, so it's time for me to get up out of here. Yeah, it's time for me to get up out of here, man. Uh, yeah, the auction's still going on, but shit, I don't see shit. I've been missed all my damn cars. I don't know where the fuck I was at. The fuck is talking to me and shit, distracting me. But um, anyways, just like that, this video's over. Make sure you guys like, share, comment, subscribe. Lucky's Wills and Dills, and I'm out. Yay!